so we are live right we are live oh that's very nice okay so uh, welcome all to today's webinar with me victor and this is uh, michael michael magnuson yep indeed so uh, we are waiting one or two more minutes um to make sure that um, that everyone will, will join absolutely um so, so that's very very nice so we'll just check here uh, yeah we're still waiting a couple of minutes um so that everyone can join today's webinar so what will we talk about today My, uh, michael well the topic of today's webinar is uh, cold leads to close deals okay um, so we're going to be looking at the lead generation tool of albacross but mostly we're going to be talking about leads and how to uh, work leads really um how to contact them how to contact them how to eventually uh, possibly even convert that's very nice yeah absolutely that's very nice so i think we, we can wait just one or two minutes one or two minutes making sure that uh, everyone can can join today's webinar absolutely sounds like a plan um so um, that's very nice okay, yeah cool so julia welcome sonia welcome andrea welcome and carl welcome to today's webinar happy yeah. to have you here Pedro, oh, Carlos, <laughs> you are here again. Very nice. Welcome to today's webinar. Yeah, I mean, I like this uh, weekly routine in having mm -hmm. a very nice webinar with you, Michael. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Victor. Thank you. Oh, and Andrea from Venice. Ciao from Venice, Andrea. I, uh, ciao, ciao, right back at you. I hope you have uh, sunny weather down in Venice, exactly as we have in it's Little fun. Venice, <laughs> Stockholm. <laughs> Little Venice, I love yeah. <laughs> oh, Marcus, welcome to today's webinar from Vienna. Mm -hmm. And Julia from Belarus. Uh, very um, a common name in these webinars, I yeah. say. So, Welcome, Julia. Always a pleasure. It's sun all over Europe today. That's what Andrea says. Okay, very nice. And Pavel from Krakow, happy to have you here also. Absolutely. You are very welcome to today's webinar. Okay, let's get started, Michael. Let's get started. Yep, absolutely. So, today's webinar. Um, what it's about today is cold leads to closed deals. I believe the full topic was uh, grow your B2B customer base with Albacross. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. So wh what's the topic? The for topic today? for today was obviously lead generation yeah. uh, and how to grow uh, your, your B2B leads. Um, the agenda for today yeah. is we're going to have a look at building an ideal customer profile, uh, which is a, a concept that is uh, slightly convoluted these days. Okay. We're going to look at our lead generation tool. Uh, mm -hmm. build some filters and set up some email reporting. And uh, then uh, we're going to talk about how we reach out and convert. Um, a, a few different success stories is what we're going to hear about. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So we should dip into building your ideal custom profile. Should we probably turn off the camera and well, take the next slide and yeah. then jump into the lead generation? We'll turn tool. off the camera. One second. It's very important with, with on the slides and then later on on the tool <laughs> and then on us yeah okay yeah. cool perfect so uh, ideal customer profile yeah um, so how, how how do you build your your ideal customer profile well the ideal customer profile is really a way of identifying who's a good fit for your business so that's that's the use case basically. that's the point of it all yeah so who are your clients and who are your prospects okay yeah uh, it's a little bit of a step process um, um, that we can either do boringly, step by step and bullet point, or okay. we'll just talk about it. Um, first step in all of it is really to examine what your current clients are. Okay. Uh, by learning who your current clients are, you know who is paying for your service, and you also know who would be interested in uh, in uh, joining on later on. Okay. Yeah. Um, you can do that by looking at what industry type is interested, what their average budget typically is, uh, and the size of the company, of course, and whatever pain points you have within your current accounts. Okay. Yeah. Um, step two would be to define the data of, of who these companies are. Yeah. Uh, firmographic, what kind of firm is it? 
what do they do? Uh, how does it look? What's the, uh, uh, the level of hierarchy within the firm? Um, and also the technographic data. What uh, tech um, are they currently using? Okay. How would you fit into this solution? That's nice. I have uh, yes, just a tip before before we, we continue. You can use uh, nerdydata.com or or public VVV to get that data basically. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can just upload the domains that that you that you have as customers, mm -hmm. and then you will see directly. Okay, what are my customers using? Which tools? Marketing automation, which CMS tools? All of the data. Yes. Uh, from another side. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. it's, it's what I like about doing this with you, Victor, is I am more theoretical and you're the practical one. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Okay, let's continue. Absolutely. So the last step in building your ideal customer profile is, of course, uh, segmenting the buyer persona. Who's yeah. the buyer within the company and who do you need to reach? Okay. Yeah. So how do you do you work with LinkedIn? That for for example, LinkedIn or? would be a very uh, interesting tool to work with. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, which uh, at the moment we have um, LinkedIn data um, within Alpacross as well. Yeah. So it's a happy coincidence. That's very nice. Mm -hmm. That's very nice. And there is a lot of different tools that you can use for. I mean, not scraping LinkedIn, but like scraping the profile so that you can get the email addresses and so on. Mm -hmm to the personas that you want to, to catch, basically. Absolutely. Another tips. <laughs> Another tip. OK. Perfect. So once we have our ideal customer profile, then it's all about outreach, really. Yeah. Uh, but before we hop on into that, uh, what I wanted to have a look at is uh, uh, the Albacross tool. OK. And how we can, uh, can use this data within that platform. OK. So what you will do now is basically kind of trying to find your ideal customer profile mm -hmm. by using Albacross. Yes, exactly. We're going to build it together. OK. Yeah. So just to start here, we are looking to, to find um, our account-based marketing customers, for mm -hmm. example, right now. Mm -hmm. um, what do we know about them, Michael? Well, the account-based marketing customers we have right now, uh, I would say, are medium-sized, Yeah, uh, typically. So in that case, I could e either work with revenue or employees. But if we start with, say, companies that have 10 to, uh, say, 200 employees. OK. Yeah. I make that little segmentation. Now, country-wise, our customers are worldwide, really. Yeah. Yeah. So we wouldn't have to touch that. Domain-wise, uh, in our tool, we have listed a couple of different domains. Yeah. If I want to see our existing customers, of course, I would look at the app yeah. because those are the ones that are actually in uh, the app. Perfect. Now, I could also filter this based on a page that they have visited. Do you find one that is, let's have a look what we got here, budget, schedule, ooh, a campaign creation budget site. Oh, yeah. So I filter it further, and then I can even use the tags as well as the sources. So just to clarify, what I'm doing here is um, filtering in the list of companies that have visited my site in the last 30 days. OK. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Perfect. So what I do with this list is, of course, look through it and yeah. see where all the traffic is coming from. Can, and you, can you sort it on activity or something yep. like that? Absolutely. That was my next step. Uh, so, of course, I don't want to see the least activity first, but the most. Yeah. Perfect. So now we have a list of companies that have 10 to 200 employees, which is perfect for Albacross. Yeah. That are in the app, meaning that they're actually customers. They have, at some point in the last 30 days, been to our campaign budget page. Okay. And we have them uh, filter in order of activity. Okay. Yeah. This gives me a very, very nice list of companies to work with. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Mm -hmm. I totally agree with you. Now, what, what we do with this is we hop on down to the bottom of the screen, create a new filter. OK. Yeah. And we're actually going to automate this process a little bit. That's so nice. Based on what we currently have, uh, I could either save it as it is, yeah. or I take it one step more, and I say that I need people that have a five or higher in activity. OK. So we have the really active ones. I named this as Mikhail's Top Fame. There we go. 
Okay, nice. Perfect. And we save that filter. Now, what happens is that this filter is available under my saved filters. So next time I log in, I can just select that filter. It's going to be sitting down here on the bottom. Oh. We have a lot of filters, as you can see. <laughs> uh, and I get to see all those companies again. But what I really want to do here is automate the process. Uh, yeah. I'm the one working within the tool, but I have several salespeople within my company. Right? I mean, this is just a, such a nice case, Michael. I mean, I'm exploring it every week, having marketing managers or digital marketing managers mm -hmm. responsible for generating the leads to the sales departments. Mm -hmm. um, I think this is uh, what you're going to show here is just showing how sales and marketing should work together. Absolutely. So at this point, marketing has really come to its closure and yeah. it's time for the sales division to step yeah, in. Totally agree. Yeah. So the last thing that we do here is we go to our profile and we generate email reports. Yeah. Now, these email reports, we can have however many we want, yeah. but for our purpose today, what we wanna do is we wanna create one with the filter that I just made. Mikhail's top thing yeah. should go to Mikhail at albacross.com, for instance, yeah. and I want that to go out daily. So that this salesperson receives this email daily uh, with leads that match the criteria that's in the filter. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, as we covered briefly in our last webinar too, the way to use these filters too is that we can technically segment it per salesperson so that each salesperson has their own list of leads. Yeah. I also work with a lot of companies with different business areas mm -hmm. so that you can sort out, for example, um, this and this and this domains are related to this business area mm -hmm. and I want companies um, from these areas to, to be, I mean, to go to this person. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. I totally agree. Now that's how we build the email report and automate the process. That's very nice. It takes away the need to kind of hover over Albacross every single second of the day to catch your leads. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So may I, go through how, how I work with the tool and give some tips based on, on, on basically how how I manage the tools for, for our new clients. Since you asked so nicely, yes, you may. Okay, thank you, Michael. So, yeah, I'm, I'm using Albacross, been using it and, and building it also. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so what, what we are doing right now, we are driving a lot of traffic um, to our account-based marketing page. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a, a specific page. Um, so I will just um, go to quick filters here. For me, it's uh, obviously most important to have pages. ABM page one, that's our account-based marketing page. Mm -hmm. That's where, where we earn our money, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, so I just want to see the traffic coming to this page. And... I want to see the companies that are more than 50 employees, actually. Okay. Um, so more like key accounts, key accounts. and, uh, and yeah. partners, basically. Mm -hmm. And what I also want to do, Michael, is I know which sources that we are driving traffic from. Mm -hmm. And this is something that all of you should actually use because, I mean, 90% of all the decision making in B2B nowadays starts with a Google search. Mm. I mean, you start looking at things on Google. I mean, if you're choosing a CRM tool or if you are choosing a, another tool if, or if you are work, trying to find a staffing agency or mm. whatever, mm -hmm. you're going out on Google and Google things. So please use, use it as I do it here. I choose search because I know that we drive a lot of traffic from AdWords. Mm -hmm. and they are very expensive, the clicks on AdWords nowadays. I mean, we pay around five to 20 euros each wow. for one click on account-based marketing. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if I know that, okay, this is the companies, the last 30 days mm -hmm. that we've been driving to the page, they haven't signed up, they haven't converted, but they are actually looking for something. Mm -hmm. I need to contact them. Mm -hmm. This is, I mean, this is, this is my job. It would be, would be wrong on me not doing it, basically. I absolutely agree. Uh, what I also have, Michael, is uh, sources. I know that we are driving some traffic from LinkedIn also. Mm -hmm. um, we have Kumach, a large Polish company. Mm -hmm. 
um, in, in IT consultancy. Which you would have missed if you didn't add that filter. Exactly. Also have this company from, from Belarus coming both from LinkedIn and search. I mean, that's, that's, that's very nice. I will also add direct traffic here. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, if you are typing in other costs in your domain and if you are like that interested, obviously I, I need to get that information. Mm -hmm. um, what I also want, Michael, I want Facebook. Yeah. We are driving some traffic from Facebook since we are very, very active there. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, see, it's it's growing. It's the, very much growing. The list is growing. Yeah. The list is growing. So I sorted out an activity. And I I will directly see here that it's it's quite a few companies actually. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's better to not be that picky in in number of employees. Okay. Um, and 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 go for for the big masses here. Mm -hmm. We have actually six pages with of potential links. clients. Wow. Uh, and it's fifty on each. Mm -hmm. Means that this is three hundred potential clients potential clients that absolutely. has come to our campus marketing page uh -huh. either from search direct facebook or linkedin the channels that we are working on right now uh -huh. it's just a very few percent of, of these companies that are converting to to leads yeah absolutely or to uh, an existing user mm -hmm. or to a customer yeah absolutely i read some statistics uh, uh last week actually that uh, only about two percent of companies that land on your website actually leave a, a trace behind yeah 98 uh, percent don't no i mean you need to nurture them down mm -hmm. in some way you can do it with emails you can do it with the phone call you can do it with re, uh, retargeting we are doing retargeting on these companies through based on um, display and also on, on, on Facebook, actually. Mm -hmm. um, but first of all, uh, I will target the, the ones that are most, most uh, interested here. Mm -hmm. So for example, uh, I have uh, Spoon Publishing, mm -hmm. uh, could, could be interesting and potential partner. I have um, another company here, we'll see. Uh, we'll see Conventus, that's an American company that's that's very nice. They woke it up. Uh, they're working up. Okay. Uh, let's say Fretex, that's Nor Norway, uh, a Norwegian company. Mm -hmm. um, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll target uh, some, some other company not coming from Norway. Let's say, oh, this from Finland. Uh -huh. Three different decision makers coming for search. I mean, this is a, a pretty, pretty, pretty solid case for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, this is, this is a Finnish company, fourteen million in in in, in revenue, uh -huh, ninety-two employees. Yeah, and I can see here it's Yaka, the CEO. Yeah, we'll see. We'll have a look at his LinkedIn. There we go. Perfect. CEO. He's doing a lot of things. Famous effective marketing since 1935. Oh, that's what, yeah, it's founded in 1935. Okay, Michael, I need to target this guy. Yeah, I also have one more uh, suggestion to look at in, in, this, uh, in this view. Yeah, if we want to target this guy, it's because we want to convert him as a client, right? Yeah. Yeah. And if I look at the page analysis here for the last 30 days, I see that these uh, this company has spent a total of about 16% of their times looking at campaigns. Um, of course, a very qualified lead, if my purpose now is to sell campaigns. Yeah, I totally agree. So what I will do, I will actually send, send him an, an email mm -hmm. to start with, mm -hmm. in this case. Yeah. Um, I can also call the company and then and, and try to be right, redirected to, to, to Jaco here. Mm -hmm. uh, and just tell him that, though, I haven't seen that you, you shown some interest basically because mm -hmm. I know that he is he's actually interested. Mm -hmm. Is should I talk with you as CEO or can you push me forward to to someone of your your marketing your manager or something like, something like that? Mm -hmm. So I think this is a, a pure case. It is a pure case, absolutely. Um so 
we have some questions here, Mike, Michael. All right, go for it. Um, sorry, how, I lost track of time. Yeah, how to make sure that the company's info is up to date in Alberta's database? Our isn't. Okay, Julia, so what we're doing right now, since we've just been closing an investment round, um, we are going to update all of our business information sources mm -hmm. so that they are up to date. Uh, and Simon, hi there from Germany. If you have LinkedIn in Albacos, why is it always blurred and says coming soon in my account? Simon, it's the same to you. We will update it very, very soon, and I'm sure it will be, be, be better. Uh, another question on, on GDPR. Mm. Um, Anders, since we are only connecting data to companies and organizations, um, we are pretty fine with GDPR, though we will actually update our cookie policy and also send out um, a DPA, a data process agreement to all of our clients. Mm -hmm. If you have more questions, please, we will take 10 more minutes in this webinar and then we'll go further to our webinar. Absolutely. Uh, to our Q&A, sorry. Mm -hmm. sorry. So this was just one of the use cases that I do. Yeah. Uh, I was actually thinking of how about calling a customer? Ooh, that sounds interesting. I mean, we are live in a webinar. Uh, should we call a customer? Yeah, let's call one. What do you say, guys? Do you want us to, to actually call a customer to see how they work with the tool, how they use it, and, and what value that they can they can see from it? Sonia, yes, Carlos. Go for it. Okay. I hope this guy will answer. Mm -hmm. So his name is Eric. All right. He is a marketing manager of a, of a large um, IT consultancy company mm -hmm. uh, in Sweden, actually. Um, been been working with marketing for like the last third. 20 years actually, so he's very experienced. Okay. Uh, he's responsible for, for generating leads in a pure B2B company with very high targets mm -hmm. on, on the leads. They should be qualified. Okay. Um, and, and it should bring value. Absolutely. Let's see how he does it. Okay. Let's call Eric. Okay. Hello. Am I talking to Eric Arnberg? Yes. Very nice. So this is Victor from Albacross. We are actually Hi. live in a webinar here, and we have the audience wanted us to call a customer. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was thinking about you, and I, basically, would you mind to 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 talk? Uh, Talk with us for for a couple of couple of minutes. Sure. Okay. Nice. So, who are you? Yeah, my name is uh, Eric Kahnberg. I'm a marketing manager for a Swedish IT company, a leading Cisco partner, a Cisco Gold partner called uh, Contra NetSafe, part of the uh, Northern European Contra Group. Uh, Forty employees, about 180 million euro turnover. Okay. So. How are you, are you working with Doublecross? What's your experience in, in your in your job right now? I've used uh, Albacross both tracking and OBM account-based marketing uh, pre in my previous employment, and we're currently using tracking and anticipating to use uh, to use Albacross uh, ABM here as well. Um, in terms of benefits. Um, I have I, I have yet to see a totally new deal come out of it, but uh, that could also I mean that could have a lot of reasons. Basically, what we what Albacross helps us see um, new prospects that we had no idea of who are visiting our site, specifically not least those who go direct into our site and so on. It also it does, and th this is a proven capability with uh, my previous employment, employment and, and this one as well. It provides very valuable sales signals, indications to our sales staff of which prospects and customers are interested at what time. It, it, it confirms 
if you will, uh, interest from prospects. So those signals are very valuable. Um, a case in point, uh, if you have a radiology department of a hospital that comes into our site and has looks for uh, uh, security uh, solutions, well, uh, their, their, their line of business is, is very susceptible to ransomware attacks um, due to the software they need to use. So, uh, and then lastly, another benefit is that it also helps me educate our sales staff. It helps. Uh, it, it assists me, Albacross assists me in dragging them into the digital era, the dig digital systems, digital uh, marketing and selling because uh, they see the benefits in it. So basically Albacross for me is like uh, analytics but a whole lot more useful and easy to use. Okay, very, very nice. Very, very nice, Eric. Th thank you very much. So, thank you for sharing. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. So, are, are you working with our like filters and, uh, and and so on also, or? Yeah. Yeah. We uh, we uh, <clears throat> as a, at a minimum we would we would typically go in and uh, do a general filter on on the uh, based on your blue on your blue point system on uh, we, we, who have been most active and then again. Uh, which kind of turnovers are like select uh, exclude the absolute minimum turnover companies, and then uh, we would um, then basically go through these and see. Uh, another thing we could do is we we could filter for uh, visitors to different different uh, pages, but but more useful would be different types of pages. So if we sell security solutions, uh, we would see who has visited uh, a number our number of pages for security solutions or other solutions and thereby we would know what kind of interest they have and then going from there and, and the radiology department of the hospital was one case in point and so going from there we would assign we've decided not to uh, differentiate between existing customers and prospects since we have a lot of farming potential in existing customers but we what we do is we typically tag interesting companies with as prospects and, and if possible we would assign them to a sales person and who gets a tag this customer or this provisor gets a tag and then um, the sales person the account manager uh, automatically gets them included in their uh, weekly report on visitors okay sounds uh, very nice to me what do you what do you think michael yeah I am, uh, it sounds very much like we uh, just told the webinar attendees to do so that's that's very good to know. Yeah. Okay, Eric. Um, do you have anything to say about uh, our account-based marketing solution? Since I guess that you have been working uh, with that also. Well, um, uh, we appreciate the account-based marketing solution. I find it uh, it's a great benefit that it's become the prices have gone down quite a bit uh, in later years, and and so. Um, we think it's. We think it's. Uh, I would think it's a necessary part of the marketing mix nowadays. Um, and Albacross seem very uh, cost efficient here, and uh, so uh, it might be the main main uh, tool, or it might be a complementary tool. But it's it's a necessary part of the marketing mix to try to address the audience you want in 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 all relevant ways. Cool. Cool. Perfect. Sounds sounds very solid. It sounds very very solid. So Eric, I think that you are right on track with both your lead generation activities and and also your your ideas when it comes to marketing. Actually, mm -hmm. absolutely, I totally agree too. It's uh, account based marketing is a very important part of the mix. Yeah. Uh, a keyword being mix. Yeah. If you want to reach all your uh, your targets, then uh, of course you need to mix it up. Okay. So Eric. Thanks for for answering on, on this call and for for being live in our in our weekly webinar. Uh, thanks a lot, actually. Mm -hmm. um, do you have anything more to say, Michael? No, it's uh, we'll we'll be in touch uh, soon, Eric. Once you uh, um, have uh, decided on a target list for your uh, next campaign. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah, very nice. Okay, thank Keep you. Keep in touch. Take care, Eric. Thank you. Have a nice thank day. You. Bye. Thank you. Bye. So that was Eric. That was Eric. Yeah, I think Eric is just right on track with, with what he 
what he does, and I mean, his experience speaks for itself, I mm -hmm. guess. All right, we have a question mm -hmm. from Pietro. I wouldn't call people because I've seen their visits, and I wouldn't do that like it was a com coincidence. coincidence. I think it would be better to use this information in the funnel. Okay, Pietro, that's um, I, I agree in some ways. I mean, it depends, but. I mean, when we're talking about funnels and the how to reach out to, to the visitors in, in another way, uh, you're still still sharing your screen, right? Still sharing my screen. Okay. So I have a pro tips here um, that I want to share with you guys. Um, so I sorted out uh, an audience that I wanted to, to target. What, what the, oh, the, the audience disappeared. It was on save filters. It was save the filter. I... I'm unsure. Okay. Anyway, I, I, we can just show how it works. Mm -hmm. This was the, another filter that we saved. Uh, we have some some clients in this filter that we want to target, basically. Um, I want to target them in a scalable way. I want to reach out to them. So what I can do, I can just export the data. Mm -hmm. I will get the company name, the domain, uh, some information on on uh, what they have done on the web page in a CSV file or an Excel file. Mm -hmm. uh, then I recommend you guys to sign up to another tool that you can work with combining this with Albacross. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So the name is Hunter.io. It's, uh, it's actually a company from, from France. Mm -hmm. um, and they have a lot of clients in the B2B space. Uh -huh. um, they are the They have different products. Uh, but one of the product is an email finder. Mm -hmm. um, so you can just create an account here. And what you can do then is you can actually upload the list of domains or company names mm -hmm. that we exported. Come, they come to our website, they show uh -huh. interest for, for uh -huh. us. And I can get the email addresses to them. Mm -hmm. And I can actually sort it on, on departments. Okay. So executives, marketing department, sales department, IT department, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And then I can just send them an email. Oh, yeah, interesting. I can send them personalized emails, like, uh -huh. hey, I saw that uh, you may have showed interest. Or I can just be, be more like, I don't know anything, mm -hmm. uh, telling like, hey, I'm Victor from Albacross. Mm -hmm. We're working with this and this. Uh, do you want to book a demo with me showing our tool? Mm -hmm. And I can just have a link there. It will work. Yeah, I've been used doing it a lot of times, and it works very, very well. Okay, that's interesting to so, hear because uh, it's uh, a lot of people keep saying that email marketing is uh, is bad. Yeah, I mean cold emails. Ah, Michael. So what we're doing here? We're driving traffic from AdWords. Mm -hmm. We're buying traffic for ten euros each click. Mm -hmm. We get the company names, we know that they've shown interest, we're doing retargeting, mm -hmm. but we need to nurture them down. We need to contact them in of a scalable course, way. Course. I mean, I can't call all the clients. I will export the data, push it directly into Hunter.io, and then whips. I get the email addresses, I will send them an email, mm -hmm. yes, trying to get a meeting, maybe five or 10% will convert. Uh -huh. I mean, I will, I will increase the conversion rates of of inbound leads with like a couple of hundreds percent. Mm -hmm. um, I've been. This is a, a secret tips. <laughs> I haven't shared it before. No, it's the first uh, time I've heard of it. Yeah, so I've been I've been doing this for a while for myself, mm -hmm. and I have a, a few friends that know it works. Guys, is it GDPR compliant way? I mean, if you send personalized emails, Julia, to a prospect, well, I guess it's GDPR compliant. I mean, GDPR can't tell me to not send an email. Exactly, because we only track that the company has been on the website. Yeah, and, and then, then I, we figure out who works at the company. Yeah, I use another tool for that. So, and then I'm using Gmail for just sending the email to that mm -hmm. guy. I mean, mm -hmm. it's fully GDPR compliant, Julia. That was my last tips for for today, actually. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's a pro tip. Cool. Yeah. So, Michael, um, it seems that we are getting into the to the Q and A here because a lot of questions are, are coming in absolutely into the chat. So, yeah. should we um, maybe put on the camera again and and, uh, and and talk to the audience? Let's go for it. Yeah. So, 
let's see here. Oh, so we have some questions. Um, so I can just start with when you are preparing the camera. Yes, absolutely. Um, we have from Kelly filters you can drill down into cities. Also, how up to date is your information on US businesses? Um, so, Kelly, at the, at the moment, we are building the functionality so that you can sort out on, on, uh, on regions and, and cities. Mm -hmm. We know that uh, a lot of clients are asking about it, so we're building it right now. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, first for, for the account-based marketing so that you can filter our targets on different regions, but later on, it's the same functionality for, for the lead generation tool. Um, so we're building that. That's very exciting. Yeah. I know we've had a lot of people request that. Yeah, I mean, that's a, it's a very nice feature. Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to um, US business information, we are updating that information right now since mm -hmm. we've just been closing our our seed investment here. So mm -hmm. it's expansion time. It's expansion time into the US. Uh -huh. Very exciting. Very exciting. We have more questions, Michael. From Simon, I don't ex explain that at all. Our sales team just goes with something like, oh, what a coincidence if it comes to that. Normally, we are just waiting for frequent visitors and try to contact them by mail, like they just explained, or by phone if we have good contacts. And just like, okay. Yeah, absolutely. So, That's totally a way. Yeah. It's, we, uh, have, we have another one from Carl here. Another tips on reaching out to the leads, visitors to your site, social media, for example. Of, I mean, I can continue with my tips. Uh, I mean, export the data. That's that's a pro tip. Step one. Step one. Go into find that lead. Find that lead .com, Another Ooh. company from France. Okay. Uh, put the data directly into find that lead and it will push back personal email addresses. Mm -hmm. Don't send emails to them because they are personal and you can't do that. You're not allowed to do that. That's GDPR. No, <laughs> no. Not a good Sticky idea. Sticky area. What you can do though, use Facebook audience, push it directly into Facebook and target them with ads. Ah, Facebook ads. Yeah, another way of doing it. You can also use the domains for, for using uh, uh, account based marketing mm. in Albacross, mm -hmm. target them that way. Absolutely. And other tips. Yeah. Simon, that wasn't a question. I was answering Julia. Uh -huh. Hi, with Julia here. Is that GDPR compliant? I think she was talking about the uh, Facebook uh, thing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sticky yeah. area. Sticky area. Pavel, thank you. It's very cool. I'm a beginner. I need to find out how to use those leads. Not a direct contact of so Facebook or general mails. Pavel, I will actually send them um, a very, very well written email. Mm -hmm. Tell them who you are, what you're doing, and why you want to get in contact with them. Mm -hmm. You can recommend them to book a demo, Absolutely. jump into a phone call, whatever. Yeah. Well, uh, Pavel extended his question here to not direct contact or general mails like office at or info at. Uh, if you are using info at email addresses, make sure that you are um, writing the emails like appreciate person. So mm -hmm. I want to get in contact with the sales director or someone in the sales department uh, responsible for generating leads. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you have that very, uh, very strong gatekeeper not letting yeah. you pass. Yeah, and, and please be very kind in that email. Tell them, hey, I want to reach out. Can you forward this email? I would love to get in touch, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a plan. It's one of my, uh, my previous clients in my old job uh, used to uh, run email marketing towards uh, prospect. Yeah. And uh, when they used info at specifically, they also included uh, if you forward this email to the person responsible, here's ten dollars on us at Starbucks. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> so, Michael, we are um, having our second or third webinar when it comes to lead generation, right? Uh, yeah, it's it's planned. Is it actually set as a date? No, no, not yet. Okay. So next week we'll have an account-based marketing mm -hmm. um, webinar again, actually. Okay. Um, I haven't set a topic yet, but um, we we'll, will. We will have that. Um, 
We have a question from Sagar here. Me using lead feed and lead works, all tools have different company names. How do you know which one is true? Okay, we have been working with this for four years. Uh, I think that we are very sure that we identify more companies than both Leadworks and Lead Forensic. We had a test actually, Ooh. a comparison between Almacross uh -huh. and Lead Forensics for a couple of weeks ago. And I think we identified around 25% more companies than them. Um, I think there's a user story in our blog too about that. Yeah. And the saga made sure, I mean, we are sorting out uh, ISPs, we are sorting out public networks, et cetera, et cetera. That's why they may have other company names than us. Uh, but we, we can't see any value of showing that data since there are not companies. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's yeah. someone on their network. Exactly. Yeah. So that's why Sagar. Pietro, do you offer API access? We will later on. We will later on. Yeah. I know that's one of the top priorities right now. Yeah, it is. The expansion. It is. So I think we do you have any more questions or should we try to, to, to finish this uh, webinar for today, Michael? Yeah, let's uh, let's see if there's any last minute questions. If not, um, we'll just say thank you. Thank you, dear. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it seems that we are actually finishing this yeah, webinar. Perfect. Okay, I would love to thank you, Michael, for well, you. for coming here today. Yeah. I mean, you were in the office. You're yeah. our customer success <laughs> I, manager. I work in two rooms down the hall. Yeah. Um, I mean, thanks, uh, Eric, for answering my call. Um, you did an awesome job. I know you will not hear this, but uh, I mean, Eric, you will send them the recording. Yeah, right on track yeah. with, with lead generation. Yeah. One more question from Pavel. Uh, is, is there, there any chat option or fast support? Pavel, go to albacross.com. In the right corner, you will have a live chat with us, and we will answer you directly, of course. Yeah. We have a support team that is there, uh, including myself, actually, um, uh, I believe, nine to five uh, yeah. weekdays. Yeah. And uh, some people, like Victor here, uh, likes to work weekends. So if you're lucky. I'm always there. Mm -hmm. That's nice. OK. Thank you all for today. Uh, take care and continue to generate a lot of leads. Absolutely. And happy converting. Happy converting. Goodbye. Bye.